Hello, my dear students. How are you? Today is correction day. So, take a seat and listen carefully. Verb tenses quiz number one. Activity one. Put the verbs between parentheses in the simple present or present continuous. In this uh, activity number one, you are asked to put the verb between parentheses either in the simple present or in the present continuous. Let me remind you, the simple present is used for habit, repeated actions, general truth, fixed arrangements, etc. So you can go back to the video and watch it, the video about the simple present and present continuous. The present continuous is used for ongoing actions, action happening now at the moment of speaking. Now, number one, listen, I think someone to knock at the door. In number one, listen, when you say listen, it means that something is happening right now. Listen, birds are singing. Listen, a plane is passing over. So, Number one, it is the present continuous, someone is knocking, is knocking at the door, okay? Someone is knocking at the door, so it is the present continuous. Number two, the supermarket usually to open at 7.30 a.m. Usually means that it is habit. It's something that happens usually. It's not right now. So it is the present Simple, the supermarket usually opens, opens, okay, uh, yes, usually opens, okay, on, at uh, 7.30. Number three, she not to like living in her native village. She does not like. You can't say she's not like liking, it's impossible. In English, some verbs do not take uh, uh, ing form. Yes, it, they can take ing form, but in very rare cases. But in this sentence number three, the right answer is she does not like living. Okay? Do you like living in your village? Yes, I like. Or no, I do not like. So she does not like okay, living in her native village. Number four, look, the beggar to try to steal that man's wallet. It's like number one. When I say look, it means that something is happening now. So the right answer is, is trying to steal, okay, the man's wallet. So is trying, is trying is the right answer. Present continuous. I have to wait until here, until my colleagues to come. I have to wait here until my colleagues to come. The idea of coming is in the future. And here you have until. Future in time close, you better use present. So here, simple present, until my colleagues comes. Come, there's no S, my colleagues. Okay? So, simple present. Number six. In number six, I'm sorry, don't disturb him. He to do his exercise. If I ask someone not to disturb me, it means that I am doing something. If I ask you not to disturb your friend, it means that he is doing something. He is walking. He is sleeping. Here he is doing his exercise. Is the present continuous. So he is doing his exercise, his homework. So he is doing is the right answer. Present continuous. Number seven, it to rain quite often during the months of August. Quite often is habit, it's repeated in, the, in, the, in, in time, it's repeated action, so it's not present continuous. The action is not now, the action is something that happens regularly. So it rains. Simple present. Okay, good job guys. Now let us tackle activity two. In activity two, uh, put the verbs between parentheses in the present perfect or simple past. Let me remind you once again, the simple past is used for action that happened in the past and are finished. And sometimes the moment in pre is precise. Whereas the present perfect is for action. Yes, that, that may happen in the past, 
but the, but but that are linked to the present time, or actions that happened in the past and that have a consequence or result in the present time, or maybe this not action, or action uh, that happened in an unfinished time period. When I say last week, the time period is finished, but this week the time period is not finished. So when an action happened happens in an in a time period that's not finished you can use the present perfect now let's go number one anna is happy her husband to find a job anna is happy it's the present why because in the past her husband to find a job but finding a job for her husband happened in the past it's clear but it has a consequence a result in the present time the result is his wife is happy. So the present perfect, her husband has found a job. And here, uh, finding a job, there is no, the moment is not precise. It means that it's not important. What is important is the present, and the present is her, his wife is, is happy. Number two, he took call three hours ago. He took call three hours ago. Ago, you know, no doubt it is a simple, the simple past, the present perfect. So he called, he called three hours ago, all right? Number three, the children to break four windows this week. This week is not finished yet. yet. So this week is a time period that's not finished. If I said last week, last year is finished, but this week is not finished yet. So the children have broken present perfect simple. The children have broken, the children have broken four glasses, have broken. Number four, Adama to fall off his bike three times last month. Last month is finished. The moment is precise. It is the past. Adama has fallen. Yes, Adama has fallen. Yes, sir. off his bike uh, three times last month. Number five. The police to arrest uh, 10 suspected terrorists so far. So, so far means it is, uh, it is up to now, okay? It is uh, the number of suspected terrorists that police has arrested. This number may change. It can be, in the future, it can be 11, 12, 13, 14, etc. So, it is a present perfect because the action doesn't belong totally to the past. So the police has or have arrested. So you can say also have with police. It's possible. I prefer have. Okay. Arrested 10 suspected terrorists so far. Number six. When the bell rang, I jump from my bed and run from the bathroom. This is narration. I am I am telling a story, a small story. Okay. I jumped. Okay. To jump in the preterite. I jumped. Yes, from my bed and run with a from the room so i am i am telling a small story it's like narration and when you narrate you use the simple past in this case so run with a okay activity three put the verbs between parentheses in the simple past or past perfect once again the simple past is for an action that happened in the past is finished the moment is precise the past perfect now is an action that happened in the past before another action or before another point of time in the past so here you will choose uh, between the two verbs which one it happened the first So here you will choose the first action will be in the past perfect and second action will be in the preterite. The message arrived five minutes after Usman to leave the house. So what happened first? Usman to leave the house, then the message arrived. So leaving the house happened before the message arrived. So Usman had left the past perfect. The past perfect. Okay. And five minutes is uh, arrive the message arrive happened next so arrived arrived five minutes 
after okay and here it is the preterite number two the tap to go dry after i to finish washing my clothes so i wash i first finish washing my clothes then the tap went dry so to go dry happened after you know uh, i i finished my yes so here it is the preterite action two and action one i finished washing my clothes so i had finished had finished happened before the tap went dry okay number three Mata assured me that he to look everywhere for the lost cell phone he lost his cell phone and he looked everywhere then he came and assured me so looking everywhere happened before assuring me that he had looked everywhere so had past perfect looked okay uh, everywhere when the guests arrive the girls already to finish cooking so here you have two actions the action of the guest arriving and the action of girl finishing cooking what happened first of course already means before the arrival of the guest the girl had already finished cooking so had finished had already finished happened before uh, arriving okay had already finished cooking all right uh, number five fanta just to stop the washing out when it started uh, to, to, to rain just to put so putting the washing out out happened before the rain yes even it is a few minutes or a few moments before it happens before so had just had just remember just is very important here had just put okay the washing out before okay uh, the rain to start number six when the man to reach home he found that someone to break into his house and to steal some of his furniture so uh, a thief come into into house comes into house break into the house and steal something then the owner of the house arrives so what happened first stealing and breaking so here you have the older man reached the older man reached okay someone had broken before he reached the house someone had broken at the same time had stolen some furniture had broken at the same time had stolen some furniture had stolen some furniture. so rich happened after the theft okay and the breakthrough in the house so this is had break had broken all right he immediately to telephone the police and they said that they to receive several similar calls the same evening so when the owner of the house telephoned at the police the police told him that before you telephoned us we received we had received so having received happened before telephoning so we had received okay several similar calls so here had the refi, ref, uh, received and here telephoned telephoned happened before the police happened after the police had received other similar calls and as a conclusions the man said that oh if this if this safe entered my house it means that he had entered as houses in the neighborhood before entering my house so had entered other houses had entered other houses before mine so the past perfect past perfect is action that happened before another action in the past are you following me guys okay our uh, number activity for the last one put the verb between parentheses in the simple past or past continuous the simple past once again action happened once in the, in, in the task is finished whereas the past continuous is an action that was happening that was in progress in the past the action was going on not finished yet in the past number one this morning just as i was moving out i started moving out 
at the moment I was moving out present continuous at the same moment the rain started so the rain started the moment I was moving out the rain started so yes uh, number three as the older man to get up the brass he to slip and break his leg here the moment the older man was getting off he was getting off the action was ongoing was getting off the bus okay he to slip slip okay and uh, yes sir. he slipped and broke his leg he slipped and broke his leg so uh, slip and broke are short actions whereas the action of getting off was in progress when the action of slipping happened number four when I call a while ago when you call I'm sorry it's not when I is when you I'm sorry guys okay you have to change yeah you okay so when you called a while ago ago preteri when you called what's happened when you when you called a while ago at the moment i was praying don't say praying guys you say praying i was praying so praying was in progress the moment you called me so i could not answer because i was praying uh yes number five number five yesterday a question you to hear the sound of yesterday so yesterday is in the past is clear is preterit preterit interrogative form did you hear the sound yesterday did you hear the sound yesterday so it is you know the preterit why is the teacher to explain some students to write so every time when a teacher is explaining, some students are, are writing, which is not correct. So why is the teacher was explaining? So as so the teacher started explaining and didn't finish yet, and didn't finish, and some students were were explaining, hadn't had not finished yet. Uh, so the teacher was explaining, the action was in progress. The teacher explaining, and some students also were writing, the action was also in progress. So both actions are in the past continuous were you know uh, writing okay i hope that i uh, you understand some things and this is the first uh, quiz i will send you a second quiz and after a week we will correct it together like this one so thank you very much for watching it was mr ngom goodbye <laughs>